aka the one. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so listen, I know you see the title, and you know what? The clubhouse, the clubhouse app. It's really a dope app. It is. I cannot knock it. It's a really good application, and I think everyone should um, download it and use it, right? And I'm explaining the reason why you should use it, right? Also, um, it's very addicting, but <laughs> I'm going to get into all of it right now, right? So this could be my first uh, series of the Clubhouse applica- uh, clubhouse conversations, right? So I think every day, at least every other day, I'm going to listen to a show. Hopefully I can't interact in the show. But either way, I'm going to take the information from the show and give you my personal opinion on it on my show. That's how you use content and use it to your benefit. It's part of the networking. Now, some of you people who still don't know, like, what is he talking about? What is this Clubhouse app that everybody keeps talking about? All right, let me, talk to you. let me tell you about it. So first off is the house called Clubhouse. It is what it is, a Clubhouse, really, when you think about it. But it's an application that's uh, only available for Apple right now. So if you have an iPhone and you have an iPad, I know those two devices for sure you can download it on. I don't know on the Mac. I haven't tried it. I do have a MacBook, but nah, I had no reason to try it because I can do it on my iPhone. My Android users, I'm sorry, doesn't work. I did download on my um, Note 8, and I downloaded it, got my profile set up and everything. But when I went in chat rooms, I could not, for the love of anything, press the talk button to communicate. So I could hear everything, but I couldn't really interact with people. Then I did a little research and come and find out, oh, it's an app for Apple only. That would make sense. And it's a pretty cool app because it's a referral thing. So once you get in, someone on your contact list will see that you join it and they'll, you know, verify that you are somebody and nominate you. And then they'll go on one person you're going to nominate. So go from there. One big chain. That's how it works, right? But anyway, like I said, it's an Apple app. Now, how do you use it? That's a big question that a lot of people ask me about it, right? Like, how do you use it? All right, so if you're watching this on YouTube, because I, I am doing this live on YouTube, so you can look at the diagram that I pull up on it. But I, I, as you see, there's a screenshot that I put up, right? So this is not a live room. I just created a dummy room just so, for example. So each area has, each room has a topic, right? And whatever topic you see you like, you click on, you know, the topic, and it'll put you in the room. And as of right now, as you see, I'm in the room right now. Now, it's by myself because this is a test. <laughs> I don't feel like having a full-fledged conversation with a bunch of people. Even if I did have people live, to be talking. So I was like, now nah, let me just do a screenshot. But once you get in the room, you, you're placed in the audience. So same thing as, as, as if you walk into, let's see, uh, the, um, a comedy show. You sit down and you're in the audience. There's someone on stage who's talking. It could be the host, it could be a comedian, whatever. But you're in the audience. So that's where you first will be, right? Or if it's like a, um, a seminar, whatever, right? You come in, you sit down, there's someone in the room talking about whatever topic. So you sit down and have a conversation. Now, this is what this is how you really get to interact with somebody. So if somebody is at, talking about something, whatever, or they ask a question, or say, "Hey, do you want to come up to the stage?" You will raise your hand and raise your hand. At the bottom right hand corner, you see this icon on here that has a picture of a hand. You'll click that; it will raise your hand. Same thing as if you were in a meeting for multi-level marketing, whatever it may be. You raise your hand; they'll call you out, and then, "Hey, come on up!" or answer your question. Same thing with that. Once you raise your hand, the moderator will see you. And the moderator is anybody in the chat. As you look at my logo right there, you'll see Twin Zing and you'll see a green snowflake. Every room has their own moderator. You could be your own moderator if you create your own room. So, And just because someone's a moderator doesn't mean they're the end all, be all, or they create the app. they just somebody like me or you who decide to create a room. And guess what? Because it's my room, I control the room, right? You can make other people moderators. You can... Raise it, shut everybody's hand down. You can kick people out, whatever. So as you see, I'm the moderating room. So once I see you raise your hand, I click on you. I bring you up to the stage. And then from there, you can press your talk button right here. To, you know, you first you mute yourself, especially if you got music playing in the background. Mute your phone because they'll get on you. 
But um, once you're able to talk, you unmute yourself and you would just talk. So what it pretty much is, is like going to before COVID happened or everything else, it's just like going to a network marketing lounge where you go to a place and you meet other like minded people. That's all it is. Only difference is that this is all voice only. So before, you know, you can go and talk to people, shake the hand, exchange business cards or whatever you was doing now, cell phone numbers, whatever case may be. That's how you did it per COVID, right? <laughs> and then from there, you just have a conversation. And if any time the conversation, are you done with it or are you done with the room at the very bottom left, you click on leave quietly or whatever. You just hit the button, you're out back in searching for rooms. Just that simple. That's a quick overview of the app and how it works. And once you get into it, very simple. So once again, you have to have an Apple device. So iPhone, iPad. And once you get in, you're in and it's my nominate you. It's a big train, you know, a handoff effect. So that's how it is. Now, what I'm going to be doing, because, you know, while I'm sitting and working and listening, I, I, I can interact with people while I'm still working because it's just like watching YouTube all day. YouTube is, you know, watch video. This one's just an audio platform, so people talk whatever. So I'm going to take certain topics that I hear, and you know what? I'm going to kind of chop it up, a.k.a. Chop Team. <laughs> Plug in. Shout out to the team. Check them out. The Chop Team is live every Sunday, live recording on YouTube, but the show drops every Monday at 7 a.m. We have a, we have shows already lined up, already being plugged in for every Monday at 7 a.m., and we're on Apple Podcasts. We're on well, Apple iTunes, whatever you want to call it, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Spreaker, of course. But anyway, so a few tips I want to give some of you people, you know, when you do decide to join to that app and get involved and see what's going on. Um, so first off, I'm going to give, give you some tips on how to avoid toxic rooms, right? Now, once again, each room has a title, and, on, and some of these rooms have the clickbait titles, Right. Do a topic saying, hey, if you want to be a millionaire, join here or follow for follow, whatever. Or how come men do this and how come black women do that? They'll have on topics. Now, like my, they're telling you what you're getting into. So when you when you click that button on our room, you're going to hear whatever. My thing is this. We're all adults. No one is making you take your finger and press that button to join a certain room. So. Once again, if you go into a room and the conversation go on and you interact in and your feelings get hurt, you knew what the topic was. But just like anything, it's like if you're in an area around people, you're going to have people trolling you regardless. Person, YouTube, whatever, whatever you're at, you're going to have people trolling you. But it's your choice if you decide to stay there. You know, and, you know, people, I'll go in certain rooms and people be you know, just, oh, man, I'm tired of the other room. All you do is this. I ain't trying to hear all that. We all grown. You, you don't have to be there. You don't have to stay in that room to listen to that information. Simple as that. Just If you don't like it, just leave the room and keep it moving. That's it. But you'll get people who think they they are somebody who they're really not. You get people talking over you, trolling you. Yeah, it's a mess. But once again, there's some really good rooms in there. There's really good people you can network and meet because you'll meet people from all over the world. I, I got some people that I met that are people in the UK, Africa, London, whatever. Just network people all over and you just never know. Because what it is, it's really a networking app for you to meet other people and bounce ideas off. Shoot, one lady needs some help with tutoring. Guess what? She was a tutor. Now, they may not have been the same state or they could have been the same state. Doesn't matter. But she provided resources and tools to help herself out and her child to get information for a tutor where she probably had information locally because, you know, you're stuck in the house. You don't know who to speak to, whatever. But regardless, networking is cool. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I pretty much gave you the rundown all together how, how it really works. But once again, the main thing in here, I just want to, you know, a little quick short video is that don't get caught up in those toxic rooms. Do not get caught up in conversation that's going to trigger you. You don't have to be in those rooms. You don't have to take that verbal abuse. You just don't. You, and, you know, so there's something, you know, I mean, everything has its ups and downs, positive, negative. But it's really how you make that. I think it's a really cool app. I think it's really good for networking and getting content and meeting other people. But you, you still going to have the toxic people, toxic conversation. You have this, you know, during the day you have inspiration 
coffee, coffee talk. You have the motivation Mondays, all that good stuff. But the towards the evening and night, you don't get the wretched stuff. You don't get the sugar daddies, sugar babies, all that crazy mess. Yeah, and you'll and then you get a lot of stuff. I'm gonna leave it at that. And you'll get rooms like follow for follow, whatever. To each his own. Once again, you you don't have to dog the next person. You just don't have to be there. So that's what I have for you people today. I just a, a, a quick topic of today on pretty much how to use the app and what to expect and how to avoid toxic rooms. But I will be providing maybe daily information because I'm, I'm in these rooms and these content I'll be hearing are pretty good. So I'll be bouncing in and bouncing out. So once again, thanks for tu- tuning in to Twins Inc. Talk. You know how to get at me. And I'm out. And big shout out to the uh, chat team as well. <laughs>